going to be testing each of these three different dropshipping products in this video to try and go from zero to starting an online business that does $1,000 per day in as quick a time frame as I possibly can. Okay, so this is the first product that we've gone ahead and picked. Now we need to go on and build the best possible website for it so that we can drive customers and make some money. So we went ahead and spent the next 30 minutes making this exact website on Shopify. I thought this website was going to do a decent enough job to go ahead and get us the sale. I just finished the website and if everything goes according to plan, we should start editing the ads, upload them to TikTok and make $1,000 by tomorrow. $500 by tomorrow. $250 by tomorrow. Okay, I, I hope we get a sale. But the reason I'm doing this is because dropshipping has been a business model that has lasted for the past five years, taking many forms and making many teenagers and college students pretty successful very quickly. But everything comes to an end. And so, is dropshipping dead? And are the glory days over? Okay, so we finished editing the ads for the product, and then we went and did paid ads to launch those ads on TikTok. Now it's time to do the exact same thing for the other two products in this challenge. So basically, create a website, make an ad, upload the ad on TikTok, and then hopefully we scale this to $1,000. And so this is what we did for the next two products, building the websites and launching all of them on TikTok to see which product has the most potential to go ahead and hit $1,000 a day. Okay, so look, for the first product that we've gone ahead and tested we've actually got a nice clean revenue of about two hundred dollars for this store and that's pretty good you've definitely got some potential in being able to scale this store up to a thousand dollars a day but the cpms are a bit high so just to improve things i think i'm gonna come up with a better creative and then hopefully that will kind of lower our cpm to kind of get that from two hundred dollars to three hundred dollars where it's going to be much easier to scale to a thousand dollars a day i've been documenting my zero to hero e-commerce journey here on youtube and these are my three principles that you're going to need if you want to be successful in the shortest time frame possible Adopt these principles and you will see some success. The first principle changed the way that I thought about selling products online forever. In the past, I used to tell people that the most important aspect of selling products online was to find a good winning product. But that's literally only part of the job. It's about creating a beautiful offer and marketing your products. I see people make the same mistakes every single day when it comes to this. They sell products in the most basic way possible, like selling a spine cracker as a way to crack your back. Like, no, everyone sells the product like that. And that angle is saturated at this point and will not lead to any real sales or any real results. You should try and sell a product in a completely different way with a completely different angle and audience. For example, you should change that product and sell it to the gym audience as a way to have a back recovery tool or sell it to yoga moms as a way to increase back flexibility. The point is simple. You should try to change the way that you market the product because if you sell it in the most basic way possible, you will not make money because that angle has and will be saturated. Let's see how stores number two and three did in terms of revenue for the second Shopify store we did we've got about hundred and nine dollars today and yeah that's not looking good. I think it's primarily a website thing and I think it was a mistake that I made because I just wanted to go to sleep yesterday night instead of actually go to work. So for that website, I think the problem is targeting a different audience to the one that we're actually marketing to. So I'm going to go fix that up and then hopefully we can get that from $109 to $300 where we could be much easier to scale to $1,000 And then for the last store we've built, we've got $200 in revenue, which is good, but you know, not great. I mean, it's not really profitable. Everything is looking bad with this store. I mean, we've got low conversion rates, low click-through rates. We got a terrible website. After finishing those changes, we were able to go to sleep and wake up and see if all of those changes had actually made a difference. But before we see the results of how we did on the second day of testing, the second principle that's going to take you from zero to here in your e-commerce journey is something I can guarantee everyone who's successful does and everyone who's unsuccessful doesn't do. You see, the most popular story in e-commerce is testing about six products and then getting a winner on your seventh product. And everyone thinks that the takeaway from this is to keep testing products. But that's not true. You can't just keep testing products and think that one of them is going to win. That's not how this works. That's unnecessarily expensive. And if you're a beginner, you just don't have that type of money. The secret or the lesson you should take from this is to keep iterating or keep improving on your products each time. You need to understand why you failed every single time your store doesn't do well. Is it because your website was incongruent with your audience? Is it because your ad did not have a hook? What is the reason behind why your store and your online store is not working and then fix it instead of just rushing to another product? Because trust me 
you're gonna make the same mistake, especially if you don't know what you're doing wrong. So the principle is simple. Keep iterating and try your best to understand the needs of your audience. Okay, so after finishing all those changes that we had made yesterday, I'm gonna go ahead and just abandon stores two and three because quite frankly, they're doing decent, but they're not doing the best. So yeah, I'm gonna focus purely on store number one because I think that has the most potential of getting to $1,000 a day. It's literally already hit $500 today. And so if you literally just increase everything that we've done by like 10%, we should see an exponential increase to like a thousand dollars tomorrow and then we can reach our I'm goal. I'm just gonna vertically scale and just increase the budget and see if that is gonna lead to us to completing this challenge and being successful. So that's exactly what we did. We spent more on ads on only store number one to try and get to a thousand dollars profitably to prove that dropshipping is not this dead way of making money and on the next day we were able to hit seven hundred dollars in revenue. Now this has brought me to the last principle that will make you successful. It's simple, but it's effective and you need to listen carefully. You see a ton of people online flashing ways that you can make money with dropshipping or e-commerce a lot quicker. They tell you you can do this by buying their course or buying their software. I know I sell a course as well. But to be honest with you, this is a mistake for a lot of you. You shouldn't be spending your money on these things like courses or software because at the end of the day, that's not what matters the most. It's going to be the media buying budget that you have. The product is important, but if you don't know how to market it or don't have the money to market, it, it's not going to work. Same with the course. Course. Learning about dropshipping is really important, but if you spend all your money on buying a course instead of actually trying, you will not improve. So, you should remember that 90% of all the money that you make should be spent on the media buying phase. You should be spending 90% of all the money that you make on purchasing ads from TikTok. A good product or a good website won't save you, but a good media buying campaign will. So, you need to go ahead and learn the five most important metrics or KPIs that are going to lead to you being able to iterate your product into making it a winning product. And if you don't understand what the hell I just said, you're a beginner and you do need a YouTube, TikTok media buying course just to get you started. Now, let's go see if we actually achieved our goal of making $1,000 in a single day. As for achieving the $1,000 in a day, we were able to do it on like day five, spending $400 on ads, $300 on costs, and keeping about $300 in actual clean profit. But watch this video to see how I made 150k in my first year dropshipping.